Did have health with a Mega Buster, though. Not bad. Yeah, an unpredictable weapon. This guy's weak to a uh, gyro attack. I did it again. Ah. Honestly, the waiting game is better with this guy, because you can have a more predictable way of hitting him. I could go up there and make the fight shorter, but playing it safe is the better way to go here. Especially when you can take him out like that. His name, though, is Circling09! And honestly, he looks like a character from Rainbow Islands to me. This is the level, isn't it? Get another free tank? Uh... Yeah, this is the level. I'm tempted to just game over here because it's boss rush time. Oh, hi gravity man. No, we're not trading each other shot for shot, mister. Apparently we are. Thank you! Okay, who's next? Wave man! And I want charge kick. Of course. I hit the slide button game, you know it. There. Okay. I used to actually know exactly who was in these pods, too, and uh, of course I don't remember that either. Turned. Ow, that was dumb. There we go. Stone Man is just easy. There's no reason to fight him with his weakness. He just hops around. Ah, Starman. Starman, you're weak to Water Wave. I hit the slide button game, come on. Oh, that was different. Man. Crystal, your gyro attack. Wow, he only did his crystal eye attack once. That's rare. Napalm? Ow. Okay. Uh, 
There we go. Now that should just leave us with Charge Man and Gyro Man, which without Gravity Hold, Gyro Man is going to be interesting. Power Stone in case this is Charge Man. Lucky guess! Oh wow, I didn't expect enough charge there. Swing and a miss. Oh come on, Charge Man! Be sensible! Alright, that just leaves me with Gyro Man. So. This is gonna be interesting, because I've ne I don't recall ever fighting Gyro Man with the Buster before. Actually, because I don't want to use my M tank. Gaming over would probably be the better option, especially if it lets me keep everything. I'll just keep trying until I get it. We'll see what happens. One or the other is bound to happen. jump button so I wouldn't get hit by his gyro blade! Wow, you're a big meanie gyro man. Doesn't matter if it's here or battle network. Break him. I get the feeling I broke him because he's not doing a shtick. There we go. Oh well. Now it's time for. Really? That's what this thing's weak to? Okay. The Wily Press. That was a swing and a miss. Of course! Come on, Wily! Wow, you know what? I'm better off just using the Mega Buster because that is a BS weapon to use. But yeah, I like taunting Wily over the spikes. It usually gets him in a position where it's easy to shoot him. Nathaniel, or, uh, Gemini Laser, Flashman 85, who, however you want to address him by, calls this thing one of the scrubbing bubbles, and honestly, it does look like a scrubbing bubble. And now it's no longer a scrubbing bubble. This is actually a very easy Wily boss. But now, we're into the meat of things. I'm still amazed I beat Gyro Man after he kind of gave up. <laughs> now let's see. Well, 
you know what? I'm pretty golden for here, other than no weapon energy. But you know what? Um, I'm trying to remember how to fight this first phase. I guess I'll find out. I was in the safe spot, you stupid in game. Fine. I'm ignoring you. Don't butter me up. I know you're gonna myrtleate me. Because I knew another one of these guys were here. And if I go too far, he's gonna respawn. Am I really that out of practice that I can't hit this guy in his jewel? Screw you! Ugh. I'm tired. The only reason I'm tired is because I'm recovering from an injury. I'm just tired. Ugh. Screw it. Let's see what this thing does. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use an E-can here. There's no point in taking that hit. But yeah, I know what this thing is weak to, but I'm not gonna use it. You're no better than Wily Capsule 1! Really? We're at this part already? Shoot, I should've used the weakness! Cause your best friend in this fight is beat! I like the music here. This is really fun final boss music. Whee! You can literally just have Beat do all the work. Normally he goes after him a second time, but I apparently am not getting lucky with that. Because then you get an early warning predictability of where Wily's gonna be, and it's quite hilarious. But Beat's being a good boy today. He's not being tricky. He's not stooping to Wily's level. Good boy, Beat. Boy, Beat, you literally can just let Beat do all the work. Now, what this boss is actually weak to is Super Arrow, but I love using Beat here. He just does the job for ya. Ooh, little chasing music. After all, we gotta find Dr. Light. There he is. And the place is self-destructing. Oof, good job, Mega Man. This isn't good. Wily got away. But Proto Man didn't leave just yet. Helping us one last time. I love that. Just a little cartoony hang and smash. But there we go. That's Mega Man 5. I didn't have to use the M tank except for once, where I- wow! Oh my goodness, I think this did not go the way I thought it would go, would go but it was still fun. <laughs> Felt like I was just figuring things out again, and I think that really made the experience all the more enjoyable. Like, I, I would come to this game every year just to practice and play. I had it memorized down pat, and apparently it's been so long that I don't remember Jack. <laughs> But, 
I would still recommend this game to be one of the first Mega Man games to play. Like, if I were to choose, it would be uh, two, four, or five to start with, because I find they're all balanced in their own way, but I do find five to be one of the more easier ones just because you get so many lives, it's so easy to stock E-Tanks, if you game over, you start at the last stage you gamed over in, and the weapons, honestly, you don't have to use the stage. If you want to experiment and do, you can have so much fun, but if you want to do a buster-only run and practice your buster skills, you can do that too. I find this game is very good for versatility and replayability, because you can play it many different times. And once you figure out what feels comfortable to you, it's actually fun to just kind of run through and, and enjoy. I would, again, every year I would come back and play this game because I enjoyed playing it. And the music and the graphics are such an upgrade over the years, too. I just, I have a lot of praise for Mega Man 5 just as much as I do Mega Man 4. Mega Man 2, I find, with having a difficulty in the North American version, definitely can make it more easy, but honestly, if you uh, play difficult, you're playing the stock difficulty that Mega Man 2 has. That normal mode? That was introduced for North America because they thought Mega Man 2 was too hard. Yeah. North America thinks, for some reason, some games are too hard, so they lower the difficulty, and it's dumb. Leave the difficulty alone! But Mega Man 5, I find, is a nice balance. If anything is going to give you a rough time for your first time run through, it'll probably be the Dark Man stages, because they do up the difficulty. But once you figure it out and feel comfortable with the, your playstyle, it's such a blast to run through. And fighting Dr. Wily with Beat at the end is just so, like, here, here's a you win button for going out of your way to collect all these difficult letters that we put in places where you could commonly die. <laughs> but yeah, I have so much praise for this game. The graphics are nice and colorful, it's easy to see everything. The music is so upbeat and cheerful, and even in the serious matters, they make it really upbeat and want you to just pound on through the game. And the weapons are so unique at that you have to find creative ways to use them. I just... and the bosses. The bosses can range from being stupid easy to, oh god, make it stop. <laughs> but their patterns are easy to predict. You just have to read them. Honestly, I can't praise this game enough, and it kind of makes me sad that it finally came to an end, because I was having so much fun. Sure, I'm tired, but you know what? Sometimes just playing a video game when you're tired can be a very way to relax and have fun or get your energy pumping again. But I think that's enough praise for me since we are at the end. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play of Mega Man 5. This is Autumn Child saying, I'll see you all next time with my next Let's Play. Later, everyone.